What's up, man? 25 Gamers. Today's video uh, is going to be over the Pistol Week, and we're going to be going to part two here. Uh, the player we're going to be going over today is the Y corner out of the Pistol Week formation, and uh, it's going to be a, our base passing play. It really does a good job against zone and man. All right, so a couple of adjustments uh, that I would like to, to have us make here with this play is I really like to take uh, Deshaun Jackson, and I really like to put him on a, a smart routed in route. Uh, the reason I like to do that is it creates a uh, zone progression to the left side of the field. And the next thing I want to do here is I want to take Brent Selleck. I could leave him on his corner route if you like corner routes. If you don't like corner routes, uh, you want something a little quicker developing, I like to put him on a zig route. And then I like to put McCoy on a wheel. Okay. And, and the reason I like to do this is because it, it just makes a very quick reads uh, across the play here. All right, so the first read on this play is going to be Brent Suck. Typically, he's going to be open almost every time, uh, especially against man-to-man -man coverage. That was zone. Let me show you uh, the same play, uh, the same setup, but I want to show it to you against man coverage first because that's what most people are running. And you see how that zig just destroys uh, man coverage. And another thing you could do if you want to is put uh, Selleck on an in route. In routes are... Very underrated this year. They're actually one of the more popular routes for tournament players. Uh, guys like T. Davis uh, have done a really good job reinventing the, the in route this year. And you see how it, it can uh, provide opportunities for your tight end to get nice space. But anyway, uh, let's go to progression read uh, number two. Your second read on this is going to be your running back out of the backfield. Typically, that quick pass is going to be open against every single zone in the game. I haven't seen a whole lot of zones that will jump onto... Uh, this little quick pass to, to the uh, running back Brown here. Uh, and again, we can run this with many teams. I try to show it with a couple of different teams uh, just to kind of give you some ideas of rosters so you can see uh, all the different options here. But again, like I said, we're going to cycle through some zones here. And you see, it, it does a really good job against them. Man-to-man uh, -man coverage, however, it's not as good, but you can user catch it. And you see, it, it still is, provides a viable option. And that's why it's a second read. So you see we beat man and zone with our first two reads of the play. And, and that leads me to my next point, and my, my third read here is going to be LaShawn McCoy. So I look left, right, nothing there, and I can check down that wheel route. Wheel routes are very underrated this year. Uh, I don't see a whole lot of people using them as much as they should be because wheel routes are they're arguably the safest route in the game against man and zone. As you see, I could consistently beat man, get LaShawn McCoy in space. And another thing, say they go with like a cover two. One of the beauties uh, about this play is if they go with the cover two, then all the underneath stuff that we're developing is going to be open. But then if they go with like a cover four, so something like this, a cover four, then now you see we're going to have Deshaun Jackson open over the middle on that in route. And so that's kind of the progression I wanted to get you guys an opportunity to see. And I want you to kind of mix that in uh, with the play we showed the other day, uh, the triple option. Um, because I think that with the triple option and this play, it's a it's a very dynamic formation uh, to, to, to really have to have a hard time stopping. So um, that's going to do it for today's video. I just wanted to kind of – oh, actually, real quick, let me show you this one thing about the corner route. So if, or excuse me, not the corner route, but the post route. So if they're in cover three, um, which is one of the most popular defenses in the game, the cover three, that post route is going to get wide open. As you see here, it's going to get nice and uh, crisp open over the middle. But – Remember, you do need a little bit of time. That's why you want to go ahead and read the other three progressions, or other four progressions uh, first. But you see, against cover three, that's why we leave that post right on the field, uh, because it has big play potential. Um, against two men under, it's not as uh, sexy. Uh, unfortunately, against two men under, it really doesn't do a whole lot of good, especially if they have Richard Sherman. But the user catch capability is there for you. Okay. Another thing that some people like, if you're more advanced, you want to do the... Uh, user catch fade right on the outside. You can do that with Jackson instead of putting him on hand, but as you can see, I'm not very good at it, and that's why I like to do the in route. All right, guys, thanks for your time today. If you have any questions about this video, please leave them in the comments, and uh, check us back tomorrow for another scheme video. Thank you for your time today, guys. We'll see you later.